Axial strain. Let's say we have a rod of length L, dimensions H and T. We pull on it with a force P and it gets longer. You'll notice its original length was L and it gets longer by a dimension delta L. The strain is that change in original length, delta L, divided by original length L. You'll notice the force, the length that's stretching, and the deflection are all in the same direction. Our strain is delta L over L. That is axial strain, also called normal strain. The stress, if we look at that little area, you'll notice this force is acting on a perpendicular area of dimension H T, the force, the stress is just P over A, which is P over HT. That is how you do axial strain and stress.